curvy or just have a big butt and a small waist and you are struggling to find some Zara jeans that work for you, or maybe you're just scared to even try them out because you think that they're not made for bodies like ours, then I made this video just for you. If you're new to my channel, hey girl, my name is Amanda and I make fashion inspired content. I upload a video every Sunday at 9 a.m. So subscribe to get notified for that and let's get right into it. I picked up 11 different Zara jeans, all in different fits and some of them even in different washes so that you could see the different colors that are offered. My goal is to help you walk away from this video with a little bit more knowledge on how these different style Zara jeans fit and if they'll work for a curvy body or not. Are you going to get that gap in the back? If you know, you know. I really just wanted to inform myself and to help inform you so that you could walk away and figure out what jeans you might want to get from Zara without having to go through all the work that I just put in for you. <laughs> To start off, I'll just go with the jeans that I'm wearing right now, and you guys saw these in my last Zara haul. These are the Accru Paper Bag Waist Baggy Jeans, and if you saw that haul, you'll know that I actually sized down in these jeans just to experiment and to kind of see how they would fit. have another pair that is my actual size. I actually really like the way they both fit. Next I'm going to show you a couple of jean shorts and then the rest are going to be full length jeans. But um, I thought I would start with these. These are an olive colored um, paper bag waist short. They have a two button closure at the top and then the bottom is kind of rolled up. This is what the back of the pockets look like. I always look at the back pockets when I'm buying jeans because if you've been buying jeans for a long time and you have like a big butt and a small waist you kind of know what pockets are going to be flattering and what pockets are not going to be flattering um, so these ones are a little bit wide set and I was a little bit worried about that because I think that pockets that are a little bit closer together and a little bit higher up on the butt tend to be a little bit more flattering for our body shape. But I actually do really like these. Um, also the color on them is kind of a washed olive. It's a very pale washed kind of olive. And then it has this belt tie at the top here. have the, a little roll up here and you can unroll these by the way yeah you can unroll them if you want to they're not like seamed to stay rolled but I think they're really cute rolled so originally when I went shopping for jeans at Zara and I was planning to make this video I picked up all of these jeans in a US 8 because I thought that that was my Zara size. Apparently you can be different sizes in different type of jeans at Zara, which I had no idea about. So that is something to keep in mind. In my mind, I think that they do run a tiny bit small, but don't quote me on that. You're just gonna have to figure out your size. But the style of the fit is something that I can definitely inform you on. Long story short, I sized up to a 10. I couldn't even get the other ones over my hips on any of the pairs. I think the paper bag waist baggy jeans are the only pair of jeans that I have in Zara and an 8 that actually work for me. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not usually a 10. Okay, now I'm going to show you the next pair of shorts. And these are a mom fit type of short. They, you can see that they're rolled up a little bit at the bottom. And then this is the pockets on the back of them. I saw that and I immediately knew that they would be hopefully pretty flattering because never have I ever found a pair of non-stretch type of jean shorts that actually look good on me. I found some that work for me and that look okay, but none that really flatter me and actually look really good to where I would choose them over a pair of jeans. So I really wanted to try these because these kind of give me Levi inspired vibes and the way that they kind of flare out at the bottom there I was hoping for the best 
with these shorts and I was not disappointed. actually really like how these fit. It's pretty tight to my waist. I don't really have any gap there. I actually love the way that these fit. They give you enough room at the bottom to where they're not like tight on your legs, which is important for thick girls like us, okay? Also, I love the wash and I love that it's a zipper short. It's not the freaking million buttons to close your shorts type of situation. Those jeans can be cute, but honestly, I cannot stand button closure jeans. So I got these mom fit jeans in a US 10. So on the back, it says mom fit. And then on the inside, it says high rise Bermuda. So yeah. So now we're gonna move into the full length jeans and we'll start with this white pair that I picked up. These are the Bliss Straight in Off-White Signature Denim by Zara. Um, I had high hopes for these because I really liked the placement of the pockets on the back. As you can see, they're close together and kind of high up, which I feel like is very flattering for a curvy body. Um, didn't know when I bought them that they had a million buttons as the closure. Can't do it. You'll see in the try-on how they fit. So these were definitely a miss for me. If you are curvy or shapely in any type of way, I just don't think that these jeans were made for us. And even if you do get a pair that actually fits you that you can get up over your hips, it's, I just don't think that this look is flattering. I just don't, I, it's not for us. They, these, these were not made for us. Okay, this next pair of jeans, it did not have the little back tab where it describes the type of style and fit that it is, but I will look it up on the website and leave it somewhere down below because these are very important points for finding the right jeans. Um, and I couldn't, I couldn't figure out what they were called because there were no other jeans like this. They happen to have this one pair in my size and I loved the wash of them. So I just snatched them without even thinking. These have a little bit of stretch in them, which is a win for us. Stretch usually works for our body types much better than a structured or a non-stretch fit does. That doesn't mean that there's jeans out there that won't work for you that are non-stretch, I'm just saying. And then the pockets on the back. Love the placement of the pockets. I really love where they come up on my waist for me. And they have a little bit of a split hem at the bottom, just a tiny little one, just a little baby one, and a slight, I wouldn't even call that a straight leg. I would call it, at least for the way that they fit on me, I think it's a, like a baby flare. <laughs> kind of a tiny little bit of a touch of a flare. These for sure were a win. I love these jeans. I can't believe I've never tried them before. And these are jeans that I would go back and pick up in other washes just so that I could just have them on deck. Okay, this next pair of jeans was sort of out of my comfort zone, but I really want to try, wanted to try it to see if it would work for me. Something that I don't already have in my collection, but I know is very stylish. And you know, sometimes us girls, with big butts, we feel left out when it comes to certain jean trends. And it can be sad, but if you wanna follow that straight leg trend, these ones will most likely work for you. And go ahead and follow that trend, girl. These are the Straight Fit Super High Rise Straight Leg Full Length Rigid Jeans. And I got these in a US 10. I love the wash on these. This wash is perfect for spring. These are the pockets on the back. They looked like a pretty flattering placement to me. Here's the bottom of the jean. There is 
a little bit of a gap in the back here. I'm thinking that I might just have a tailor bring it in a little bit because I really like these jeans. sort of an effortless rip tear at the bottom. It doesn't really look intentional, like they were made that way. It just kind of looks like they were worn and I love that look, sort of effortless, like you're not trying too hard. And then they have a little bit of a slit at the bottom. I loved that too. I really wanted to try this straight leg trend and you'll see in the try on how I felt about them. Okay, next are the paperback jeans that I shared in my last haul. These are the size 8 paper bag in a, they're called paper bag carrot leg ankle rigid. And these are in, I believe they're called a mid blue. I'll leave all the details of everything down below, which I'm sure you've already seen. Um, but these are the ones that I got in my true to size. This is the back of them. You already know I love the way that these fit. I didn't expect to love the way that these fit because I didn't think that they would be flattering for our kind of body type, but I was wrong. I was wrong on a couple of them and I think I've just always been scared to step out of the fitted jean type of zone or like stretchy jean type of zone and kind of venture out a little bit because I was just worried that they would never work for me, but Zara proved me wrong on a couple of them. jeans is taking us back to what we're a little bit more familiar with probably a little bit more comfortable with and these are the split skinny jeans in a US 10 they do have stretch to them they're not rigid so you already know you're less likely to get that big gap in the back than you are with those rigid style jeans this is the wash that it's in it's in more of a traditional denim wash this is the back of them, the pockets. I really like the seam placement on everything. It has a slight tear in one of the jeans. Again, effortless, not overdone. And then this is the bottom. It has, gives you a tiny bit of a flare. And then you have the split seam at the bottom there. I love the split seam trend. These were definitely a win. I love the way that these fit. I'm obsessed with these. I want to get these in any wash that they make. Okay, the next pair of jeans is a straight fit. And they're in this really pretty sort of um, grayish light wash with a brown stitching, like a light brown stitching. I really was attracted to that light brown stitching. Um, against that gray sort of light wash. I thought it was really pretty. And then it has the kind of copper hardware. I got these in a US 10. I did not realize, again, that they had a million buttons in the front. Can't do it. Besides that, the fit, let's get to the fit of these. These didn't go over my hips, just like the white ones didn't. and. I just think that straight fit, it's not for us. It's not for us. I'm convinced now. This is a second pair of just straight fit. I'm not talking about straight leg. I'm talking about straight fit. And I think straight fit is for narrow hips because I couldn't even get either pair of these on. And like I said earlier, it, even if I size up another size, I don't, I am not convinced that these would look good on, on me at all. Stay away. I'm letting you know right now, just, just stay away. A 
Okay, next we have a classic mom fit jean. This is really one of the styles that I wanted to try pretty badly. Um, and I found it in a very similar color as that last pair of jeans, that sort of light gray wash with the brown stitching. So I was very excited about these. Um, they have a zipper closure, thank God. I got these in a US 10. And then the placement of the pockets is nice. I've never tried a pair of Zara mom fit jeans. I have a few pair of Pretty Little Thing mom fit jeans that I love. I think that the Pretty Little Thing mom fit jeans are a very flattering version of the mom fit jeans. If you haven't tried those Pretty Little Thing ones, you will probably like those. Just search mom fit. accentuate my butt. I just kind of feel like they just sort of like flatten it out, you know? Let me know what you guys think in the comments, but I just feel like these kind of just pancake my butt. I mean, maybe I could size up and it would give me better effect. Maybe you're supposed to size up in these. I don't really know. Um, there's no gap though, so that's a good thing. So I like the way that these fit but I didn't like them enough to keep them. I didn't think that they were unflattering, but again, I didn't think that they were the most flattering. And I just didn't feel like I liked them enough that I would actually wear them out or wear them frequently. And when you're spending, how much should I spend? When you're spending $40 on a pair of jeans, you wanna make sure that you're gonna get a lot of wear out of them and that they're gonna fit you well enough that you feel comfortable and confident in them because otherwise you're not gonna be reaching for them. So they may not, I, I know that there are some other girls on YouTube that are thick or curvy or whatever and they like the mom fit jean, but for me, I just think I wouldn't reach for them. I, I would rather reach for my pretty little thing mom fit jeans, if that makes sense, because I feel comfortable and confident and I feel like they look good on me. These ones, just, they didn't really impress. Okay, the last pair of jeans that I have to show you are these super elastic skinny jeans. And you know, I, I have so many skinny jeans in my jean collection because for the longest time I felt like those were those and like tight flare bottoms were the only thing that looked good on me. So I figured I'd give Zara's a try because you know, if I, if I like skinny jeans then I would probably like Zara's. I did like these. They fit well. They look good. They're very, that very stretchy material. I got them in a US 10, but for $35, I don't think that I would be paying that much money for a pair of skinny jeans like these that you could find anywhere. Yeah, they look good and they fit, but I wasn't impressed. Like I didn't I didn't think like, wow, these look so much better than some of my other skinny jeans. They're just like, you know, your average pair of skinny jeans that you can find anywhere. Maybe if I tried them in a different wash, I would probably fall in love with another wash. I like the way that these black ones fit, but honestly, I have a few other black ones that look just like these, that fit just as well, that were not quite as expensive as these. And if you want a good quality pair of skinny jeans, then these are probably a good one. Um, these are a true black they're not faded at all this is what they look like up close and then here's the back of them they have a nice um, seam detail right here the pockets are are in a nice flattering spot so these are gonna be pretty flattering skinny jeans for you if you like skinny jeans Okay, you guys, that's it for this jean haul. I hope that I left you feeling a little bit more informed and a little bit more with a guide of what to go in looking for when you're shopping for jeans at Zara. Um, let me know down below what your favorite fit was or 
wash was even. I'd be curious to know what you guys think. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I upload content every Sunday at 9 a.m., so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.